Shalom. Call Haloyim La Yahawa Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sons of Akima that is pushing this 100% truth. With all sincerity, faith, and with charity, this is your brother Ash from the Great Millstone Miami camp. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakwadash. And this lesson. It's going to be a quick, uh, straight-to-the-point lesson. I don't really have uh, much time, but uh, something I wanted to uh, bring out through the Spirit, something I was meditating on, and I feel is, uh, you know, the time for something like this to come out, all right? And uh, basically, what you have going on right now is something that's been going on for a while, but, uh, you know, it's also going on right now, and... and it's going to increase as uh, time goes by because that's that's what the scriptures say. OK, and as a matter of fact, before I get what I wanted to bring out, let me uh, bring out something that's backing up what I'm saying about how more of this is going to come out now that we're at the last days. And that's people trying to uh, remix the doctrine, remix the doctrine that was taught to us by the men that the Most High Yahweh through the Son Yahweh Shai set up, okay, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay, who are the true teachers and leaders of the nation of Israel on earth today, whether anyone likes it or not. And the doctrine that they teach is the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, okay, whether anyone likes that or not, it's just the truth, okay. The scriptures say that, uh, uh, be, uh, be assured, being assured of uh, the things we have learned, and and the men who, and uh, the men who taught us, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, uh, that's also in the book of Acts. It speaks about how uh, the apostles uh, and the disciples of the Lord con uh, continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. Right, so showing you the 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 doctrine of our Lord is also called the apostles' doctrine. Because they didn't come up with it on their own. They received it by a revelation of the spirit. Okay. And and if you understand the prophecies, if you're uh, the Holy Spirit is dealing with you enough for you to uh, see what time we're living in, you're able to measure the time diligently in itself. As the scriptures say, you, you can clearly see that we're in the last days. OK, you can clearly see that we are very close to all hell breaking loose. The hour of Jacob's trouble and ultimately World War Three popping off, the missiles flying, America being totally destroyed and our Lord Yahweh Shai returning to deliver his elect that are scattered uh, throughout the four corners of the earth. And the scriptures tell you that uh, before that happens, the true doctrine of the Lord has to go out so that the elect can believe on it and be sealed. Okay, so obviously there is not much more time for a doctrine, the true doctrine to, to go out. Obviously, as our closer as we are to this thing breaking off, the true doctrine has to already be here. And it also already has to be already spread out like wildfire, which this truth, this 100% truth, the doctrine that we teach, which uh, you can so-called call uh, one West doctrine because you have many uh, schools of Hebrew Israelites. We, we all agree that we know that so-called Negroes are, are uh, Israelites was not only Negroes, but Latinos so-called in a, uh, Hispanic, so-called Native American people of indigenous descent are Israelites, right? But then you have the, the One West groups, okay? We teach that Esau, the so-called white man, okay? America is Babylon, so, so forth and so on, right? But then there's other things, too, that we don't all agree on but are very important, like Case in point, Revelation 13 and 16, a.k.a. The, the mark of the beast and what that is, which if you take that, you're going to be destroyed. 
So certain key things that you have to have in order or you have to know in order to be saved. That's why we say here at Great Millstone, we have 100 percent truth. And this 100 percent truth has to be spread out already, which if you can have eyes to see it, ears to hear you, there's people all over the world waking up to to this truth. There's uh, camps of Great Millstone popping up throughout uh, the, the earth. And you don't have to necessarily call yourself Great Millstone, but you have to acknowledge the true teachers. OK, but you have men that were once a part of Great Millstone. For years. OK. Now, all of a sudden, been kicked out or left for whatever reason. Now they're changing things now. Yeah, the, the apostles, they got certain things right, but some things they got wrong. And this is what they got wrong. So according to you, you're the true teacher. Now, that's basically what you're saying. You're the true leaders now. And now we have to, everybody has to be gathered under what you believe, which ultimately there's no time for that. So obviously you're wrong. But the scripture said that it would be men uh, of that sort that would do these things, which also shows that we're much closer to the end. So, this is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times shall uh, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Okay? And that's what you have. In the latter time, men departing from the faith. So in the latter times, the true gospel is already going to be out. It's not going to be left to interpretation. It's not going to be, uh, you know, this and that, or it's okay, you believe this. No, it's going to be one doctrine, one faith. Either you got it or you don't. All right? It's not, oh, yeah, certain things they got right, but certain things they got wrong. Nah, it don't work like that. But men are going to depart from the faith, uh, depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. So it's going to be certain things that said, which that's always uh, the most powerful lies when you mix some truth with it. If you say, yeah, yeah, certain things they got right, but certain things they got wrong. That sounds more seducing than just say, oh, all, everything they got is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So it's a, it's a seducing spirit. It's a, 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 you know, a demon that's getting on, on men in these last days. Showing you that we're getting further and, and further, closer and closer to the end. All right. But uh, this is what I uh, quoted. This is Luke chapter 12. Oh, no, no. So lock it. Was it Matthew 24? Is Matthew chapter 24 and uh, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So this gospel has to be preached throughout the four corners of the earth before the end can come. This gospel, which we that's how we know the so-called uh, doctrine of Christianity so-called christianity like we uh like to call plantation christianity okay coined by uh apostle tahar we 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 know that ain't the truth because that been spread out through the world hundreds of years ago and the end still hasn't come so we we know that's not the, the true gospel of the lord what we have is the true gospel of the lord it wasn't until our apostles and the elders of gms got on youtube it wasn't until then when, when things, when the prophecies really started hitting and kicking off like that. Why? Because that's when you had many members of the elect uh, beginning to wake up at, at a rapid rate through the strength of the unicorn, which is the Internet. That's when uh, is, uh, the, the wars and rumors of wars uh, increase. That's when uh, talks of, of uh, the, uh, you know, uh, implantable devices began to, to uh, you know, skyrocket. That's when you really start seeing Israelites really waking up. And the apostles of GMS, they they always say they weren't the first 
Israelites or one West Israelites to get on YouTube. They say uh, Nate Bishop Nathaniel was was on it first, but when they got on it, they they started pushing to a whole nother level on the YouTube, and that inspired many other Israelites to get on YouTube, which caused a domino effect of Israelites waking up. So if the proof is in the pudding, when it when, you know that's why Yahweh I said, believe me for the very work's sake. So if you don't believe the apostles and the elders are the true men of the Lord, believe for the very work's sake. There's no other men out there putting their work, have put in work, and are still putting their work to the level that our apostles and elders have done. And the effect that you know, without having to get on airplanes and go to these different countries. To, to set up camps you got you got men in the, uh, under the, uh, the banner of GMS in Africa Aust uh, Australia <laughs> that's the spirit because I didn't even I was trying to say uh, South America but there's brothers in Australia as well Europe all different parts of Europe and, and they teaching the names Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and you got people in China and, and, and East Asia calling on the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai through the influence of the apostles and elders, or through the Spirit. Okay, so that's how we know that 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 we got the truth. But yeah, you got men this late in the game want to tell you that uh, Abba Bivens was not Elijah. King Masha is not King David. Which the apostles and elders, you know, tell you all the time they don't they don't push that uh, King Masha was King David on people, but Guess what? If if the spirit is truly dealing with you, the Lord is going to reveal it to you because certain things, the deep things of the scripture, you're not going to really understand. Like uh, Zechariah, the third chapter, Malachi, the uh, fourth chapter. You certain things like that, you're not going to get. But guess what? The scriptures say the Lord is going to send back Elijah before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. So also to turn the, 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 the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the children to the fathers. So uh, Elijah, whoever he was, coming back in the reincarnation in these times was going to play a major role in getting this Hebrew Israelite ball rolling, so to speak. So who else could he be? And he was going to turn the hearts of the father to the children and the children to the fathers. So that meant the, that means the very first, you know, men. Or the, the key men to join unto Abba Bivens will have to be some very high key uh, players in this thing of ours, i.e. King David. But the spirit got to be on you to, to, for you to uh, realize that. And if the spirit is not on you, the spirit is not on you. But yet you got men that want to change that and say, oh, no, that's wrong. That's wrong to, to teach that. That's not in the scriptures. So you're taking the very foundations of this of this teaching and 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 trying to pull the rug from under it, which is not gonna happen. You're gonna lose every time, and if you don't repent, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah gonna destroy you. Because you're kicking against the pricks. The scriptures say what? I'll close out with this. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and 10. According to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, right? Because uh, the Apostle Paul was a, one, a, a very high key player in this thing of ours going back to 2,000 years ago, right? Especially uh, dealing with the, the gathering of the Israelite foreigners at that time, the Gentiles. He didn't. He didn't even learn from uh, the disciples. He learned directly from Yahweh Shai himself. He, he told his story how when he first started teaching, he didn't even go visit the apostles uh, for some years. He just went straight to teaching. So he was a major player in this thing. That's what he means by he laid the foundation. He was a pioneer, and you got pioneers in this thing of ours in these times, which we believe are those same pioneers coming back in the reincarnation. That was with Yahweh Shai 
two thousand years ago, and 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 and, and uh, that that was uh you know during that time. It says, and another buildeth thereupon, uh, thereon, which are the the, the different uh, churches that Paul set up, the different bishops and deacons and and men that was part of those different churches that we read in the Gospels. I mean, so like in the New Testament, in Paul's writings, right? But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. So we are entering other man's labors, as the scriptures say. So it's not up to us to change the doctrine. It's up to us to be assured in the things we learn and, and teach what was taught. Verse 11, for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You see? So Yahweh Shai is the foundation, but Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book. Yahweh Shai is the doctrine. So you trying to take a piece of the doctrine, you you adding and taking away, man. But yeah, you claiming that the apostles and elders is adding and taking away. Well, guess what? We're going to see. And we already know because it's too late in the game, man. Look at what's going on in prophecy. Look what's going on in the world in, in, in the Middle East. Look at what these different world leaders is coming out and saying out of their mouth that they, they got planned to do in the near future. But as I brought out, men in the latter days is going to be giving heed to seducing spirits, man, departing from the faith. But this is just a warning to, to the elect, the hopeful elect out there to not be seduced by these spirits. To peep what's going on and to use wisdom, man. Put one and two together. That's something I just wanted to, to bring out through the spirit. All right. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rechakodash. Until the next one, Shalom.